All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, and I know I don't mention it quite enough, but if you go over to my channel, um, I am on Rumble and now on TikTok. TikTok's not a big deal. I really, I'm just kind of trying it out. Uh, but I would like you guys to go follow me on um, Rumble, um, just in case you know something happens to this channel here on YouTube. Um, you know, we have a backup place to go. Um, so with that said, we are looking at DOT, which is currently at 490. It looks like you're getting stuck at the 50 EMA here. So that's going to be your price to beat this 497 area on, on DOT here. So from where you are right now, if you break above 497, 498, you'll have a shot at the 382 at 520 for about a 6.5% move. And then your 0.5 up here at 559, 560 for a almost 14% move higher. And it looks like if you get above that, then there's nothing stopping DOT from coming all the way up here to the top uh, at about 740 for a 51% move, which would also bring you up here to the 200-day moving average to test if this thing's going to flip bullish or not. So a couple of prices to watch there on, on DOT here. Uh, you currently, you're pretty much holding support at the 21-day moving average there. You got it above the support here. So as long as you hold 480, then you're still good for that move higher at some point. But like I said, you're getting stuck at the moving average here. So we'll see if that helps push you back down, um, back down here to about 420. Uh, we'll go ahead and measure that really quick. So from where you are right now, if you never go any higher and you lose 481, you're going to drop about 14% down here to 420 on dot here. It looks like I have another fib. Why do I have a fib drawn there? Damn, I have I must have a macro fit. Let me switch it out. Let me zoom out for a second here. Didn't realize that until just now. Oh yeah, I do have a big fib here. Alright, we'll go ahead and take this one off. Since we're looking at the daily chart now. Sorry about that. But yeah, that's what those couple of prices we just mentioned, that's what I would watch on dot. Uh, looks like it's respecting the fibs and respecting the moving averages here. So yeah. Watch those couple of prices there on DOT. And like I said, if you would, go follow me on the other platforms. And I'll see you in the next one. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.